Good morning, welcome to the shed. So I've gone and done it again, bought myself another bulk lot of planes. Some real juicy ones this time. Um, some Stanleys and some record planes. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing in a minute. I kind of know what I've got. There's three in there that I want for myself. The rest I'm going to have to sell because I can't, I can't keep them all. Uh, so I'm not going to be doing them all of this lot up. And I think I'll sell some of the other ones that I did on the last uh, bulk lot. Okay, let's get over to the bench and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I think I've got 14, maybe 15 planes here. Um, with this seller, he's, he doesn't always come up with what he says he's got because you know when he loads the van up, things are slightly different. So I have to be a bit careful with what I pay. Um, but yeah, this time he threw in an extra one, which is uh, makes it very nice. Okay, let's have a look, see what we've got. Again, just as they come out of the box. So this is a Stanley number 50 in a box. Obviously been in an auction at some point. And yeah, it's still in the box with cutters, the full set. Doesn't look like it's even been used or hardly used. Still got the box. Yeah, look at that. That is <laughs> basically not used. So that's uh, got a rosewood handle, I think. Probably got the instructions in there as well. Okay, very nice. That's one good one. So that's the Stanley 50. I've got a 50S which I bought in the last lot, which has also got the same handle, not in quite such good nick. I'll have to decide which one I'm gonna sell. I'll probably sell the easy one, the, 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 the latest one. Okay. Next up, a record 40. I did have a sneaky look at this one earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I'm missing something. Uh, it's basically a sort of miniature uh, plough plane. But it seems to be missing something to attach the blade. I think there should be some sort of clamp there. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I can't see how the blade fits otherwise. Yeah, there must be some sort of clamp. That goes in there and that looks like it's missing unless I'm doing it wrong okay if you know what that what's missing let me know here's a close-up here's the blade this is where there should be some kind of wedge maybe it is just a wedge could be okay so that's number two it's gonna go on eBay anyway so I, I won't worry about repairing that one I'll sell it as is inbox slightly knackered okay uh let's get through the little ones first so this is a record number 120 missing the knob quite an old one blade looks okay another one this is a guise can't quite see what that says on there i think it says made in england uh yeah it does six number 16 17 missing the knob or miss, missing the adjuster. Definitely one for eBay. Probably won't get much for that. Uh, this is a Stanley 110. Good nick. It's an old one with that wheel on it, I think. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. That'll go on eBay. This one is a number six. I think this is called a Hobbies number six. Yeah hobbies that says on there I don't know if you can see that nice little plane actually I presume it's British made um, yeah actually quite nice that'll go on eBay okay uh, then we've got a record number four very standard stuff not particularly old but in decent condition handles a bit loose but that one will definitely be okay. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far. 
Now we get to the juicy ones. But first of all, there's another record number five, which he chucked in because he, he lost one of the ones he said he was giving me. Um, yeah, that one needs a bit of love, that one. That's been, been messed around with. Somebody's been painting red knobs and red knobs and broomsticks. Don't quite know why. But yeah, it's retrievable. That'll be okay. Uh, missing the screw, or the screw's loose on that as well. Okay, that's a number five. Then we've got a Stanley five and a half, which is the wider, heavier version of that. That is made in England. Bailey, Stanley Bailey, number five, 012055, that says on there. Nice and heavy. I'm thinking about keeping that one. That's one of my options, although it has had a bit of rust on it. We'll have to see about that one. Next up is a record number six. Big, beastie. Quite a nice long blade on that one. That one's going on eBay. Gonna run out of space. Another Stanley, this one's a number six as well, but this one's a Stanley one, made in England. Number six, that's the one I'm keeping, because I haven't got one of those in my collection. Although the record itself looks quite nice. Okay. So how many we got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven so far, and still four more to go. So 15 in total. Okay, so this is the one, I've been looking for one of these for ages. This is a Stanley number seven, a jointer plane. Big, long, probably never use it, uh, but it's one I've wanted. That one's got quite a short blade, but that is made in USA. So that's the desirable one, which I think I'll probably be keeping that one, although it has a bit of, bit of action. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be okay. Then we've got another one of those. This one's a made in... UK or England, made in England, with a bit more blade. Not sure of the age of those two. That one's got the lip on the back, and that one hasn't. I need to decide which one I'm going to keep of those. Uh, and then I've got another one of those. Stanley number seven. Made in USA. Oh, so I've got a choice of two USA ones. Actually, that's the better one, although the blade's shorter. Okay, that's got the high knob. I don't know if that's good or bad. So I've got three number sevens. So those go for 110, 120 quid each. So I should be okay on the overall purchase. And then finally, I've got this thing, which is a Stanley number eight, a massive, huge plane for, I don't know what it's for really, tabletops, a low knob, that one looks like that's quite old, don't know where that one's made, doesn't say, but it has got some patent numbers on there, so we'll be able to work that out, so I'm keeping that one, there you go, so that's what we've got, the ones I'm keeping are uh, number eight, a number seven and a number six. I've just got to choose which number seven I'm going to have. I think it's going to be that one, actually. That's got the longest blade on it. OK, there you go. That's my new collection. <laughs> Am I mad? Probably. You can comment down below if you think I'm crazy buying all these things. Um, but yeah, I should be able to get my money back. No problem. I paid quite a lot of money for them, but they're all good, desirable planes. OK, thanks very much for watching. Uh, so I didn't set out a couple of weeks ago to become a plain specialist dealer, but it seems like that's what's happened in the last two weeks. But it's only just so that I can grow my collection. So I've managed to get myself a number six, a number seven and a number eight all in one haul, which I thought would take me years. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use them, but I've got. Them. OK, so um, as I say, I will put these all on eBay. I'll link down below to the eBay store. So if you want to put a bid in, you can. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'll obviously do videos of the... Uh, the three that I'm keeping as I do them up but I'm going to do a quite sort of uh, a, a, a gentle restoration on them I'm not going to repaint them because I think that's a bad idea I've decided okay thanks for watching see you soon